Hey everybody, it's Jane Johnston with the Bar Hill Group at Remax Camosun, host of Vancouver Island Time. And I'm here with your market update for October 5th, 2020. I'm just going to share a screen here so you can see what's going on. So we're still in a very active year here. You can see our sales are at 522 units. This is over Greater Victoria. We're up 5.9% over last month and up 109% over last year. Our average home sale is at a million seventy-five eight ninety-one. This is up 7.3% from last year and up 18 point or sorry last month and up 18.8% from last year. Our median is at 875, and this is down from September of 2019 when it was 90. 05964. Uh, this is important because the medium nu median number is the number halfway between the upper and lower limit. Average number is affected by sales that are either really high or really low. So we really want to be looking at that number. Okay. Uh, condo apartments, we've had 280 sales, so that's 6.9% uh, over last month and 26.7% over last year. So this is good because we were a bit low in the condo market earlier in the year. Uh, we have an average of 502,000 for condos with a median of 430. So that tells me that there were a lot of high-end condos selling. And we are up. 4.3% over last month and up 12.4% over last year in terms of price. And in terms of just volume of sales, we're up 26.7% over last year. Townhouses, we had 107 sales. This is down 23.6% from last month and uh, up 40.8% over last year. The average was $601,000 with a decrease of 3.4% over last month and 2.2% increase over last year. The median for that is 555 and that is down 3.2% from last month up 1.5% from last year. So really uh, we're seeing steady state over the year. Number of listings, so the number of sales were equal to last year, month to date, uh, as of September 1st. And we're seeing that we're outselling. So we had 989 sales uh last month which was up 60.6 percent over last year so now we've exceeded year-to-date sales from last year overall our listings at uh, 2389 so this is down 15.4 percent over last year and trust me i'm working with buyers and i can feel it so this uh it's not a graph, I'm told. This matrix, uh, what this does is explains where the activity is in each of the areas. So you can see in Victoria for single family homes, we have a lot of activity around the 750 to 850 mark. And then again, around the 950 to a million mark. So that's where the majority of homes are selling in Victoria. And then in Saanich East, we see quite a lot of activity, again, in 750 to 850 range, 900 to 950 range. And then it stays pretty steady up to about $1.2 million. And then the other active areas are Colwood. So we see single family homes are busy at the 750 and below range and in Langford, uh, they are very, very active, peaking in the uh, 750 to 799 range and uh, also 850 to 900 range. <clears throat> We're also seeing a lot of activity in Souk. However, at a lower price range from 700 and under uh, to 350. So if you're looking for a reasonably priced home, you want to be looking either in the Souk or the Gulf Islands. Average home prices over the past two years, you can see that uh, it was fairly steady and then it was starting to go up at the end of last year. Uh, we had a bit of a dip when COVID hit, so April and May were down. 
and then it recovered quickly in June and things really took off. So over the past um, few months, it's actually been very steady around 900 sales. So that's been greater than normal. Condos have uh, undergone a pretty flat trend over time over the past two years. So I don't expect that'll change right now, but as um, houses get more expensive, people will start moving back into condos and then we'll see that market pick up. Total active listings, this is quite normal to see a hump over May and June. And you can see this year we had a bit of a stall in March and April in terms of total active listings. We didn't get quite the total that we'd normally do. So we were saying we were having a late spring market at the end of the summer and it's remained steady. And you can see the um, bar graph here shows the total number of listings, new MLS listings, and then the sales. And the sales on the right there, you can see for June, July, and August have been quite steady, just below a thousand sales. Uh, we peaked in terms of our listings in July, and that's because everything kind of shifted over uh, two months. Uh, we're going to be coming into the late fall here. Usually things die down. I don't know. I'm not seeing any activity uh, to say that it's going to die down. It seems pretty steady to me. But um, if you do want to sell your house, now is a good time. You're probably likely to get a closure before December. So that's the market for, for now. If you want more information, you can contact me. I'm Jane Johnston with the Briar Hill Group at Remax Camosun. If you have any questions about what's happening in your area, please give me a call. My number is 250-744-0775. All right, everybody. Have a great day. And we'll see you next month.